this is Courtney and we are on our way to Joburg from Cape Town now on our Uber ride and we're gonna have an awesome weekend we're gonna take you with us so stay tuned because it's about to get prickly <laughs> life of a blogger you got my bag right I'm coming Caroline Courtney work harder but it's okay because we're having really fun people watching and um, we're talking about all the stuff that we're gonna buy at Beauty Revolution. We are Parkwood Hotel and it's in Rosebank. So if you ever come to Joburg, check it out. It's really, really cute and quaint. And they've got like such really nice outdoor areas. They put the fireplace on at night and stuff. But we are gonna go to dinner tonight at this place called Momo. What is it called, Courtney? Uh, it's like a Asian fusion. But there's a restaurant next to that as well that we really wanted to try out, but they're um, kind of booked. You can only sit at the bar. So we're gonna have a drink there. It's called Marble. And a lot of people have mentioned that it's a really cute, trendy place. So we're just freshening up now, finishing off some work, and then we're gonna have a little drink. I've got a game plan for tomorrow for Beauty Revolution. Doors open at nine, but I don't know if it's gonna be as big as we think it's gonna be. So we're gonna try and get there just after nine, because all the panels and stuff we would listen to are a little bit later as well in the morning. Nothing's like first things first. Also, this eyeshadow palette, it's Kevin O'Quan Nude Pop, really good. Look at our little hotel. Have you got enough stuff? Yeah. Does it look like I'm going to school yet? Moving yeah. around. Sand tan. Sienna. <laughs> We're fresh and beautiful and ready for a nice long work day. We did the 
BR Artist package, so we all got like little press boxes. So if you see us walking around with this today, it's just our goodies, so um, it's nothing Nordic Beauty related, but we're gonna just probably take like a little walk around everywhere. Slay! Caroline's opening up the BR boxes because we want to see what we don't have to buy. <laughs> because there's people everywhere so it's really hard to actually show you all the booths but we're gonna try our best to show you everything and ones that we particularly also like. Lip by Switch Beauty, mm -hmm. this is double, double tap. tap. And then yours is? Four. Don't have it on but I bought 420. And then my earrings are also local, those are by Cara. Cara We're here. There's a little master class that we're not going to, but we just peeped in at the corner. Um, it's giving us a really good idea of if it's something that maybe like we would do, like hire a makeup artist or somebody for Nordic Beauty to do a master class. Oh my gosh, this thing is so soft. It's really, really fast. So if you are a girl that loves to make or go in like right up to your nose, this is really going to be your best friend. So if you're just going to apply powder, I'm going to see you creasing and I'm going to stage eyes the whole time to give you how I can fix it. So. so tired actually so today was definitely a really fun day and it was definitely just makeup all day um, skincare and stuff too but just like an overload of everything beauty when you go to like these types of conventions you forget how many people are going to these conventions like the mass amount of general public as well as you're constantly feeling like you're being sold something in between like there's master classes and there's like panels where people are speaking about business and then there's also um, little things popping up here and there there's a lot of different little events that you can go to but in between all that you're walking and seeing all the shops and the pop-up shops and like maybe how we would do that for Nordic Beauty next year and stuff so you're trying to like take everything in and you're being sold stuff at the same time but what we did get when we walked in was a little like PR pack. Yeah, so we got little PR packs. Everyone got a Cosmo that's like nothing crazy. Wait, what? This is by yeah, wet wipes. Here's citrus. So mine are charcoal wet wipes and yours are citrus. Yeah. Which is really cool. This is massive. massive. I don't even know if I'm gonna bring this home. I'll bring it home for you. Caroline's petrified of well, going above the limit for airport travel in South Africa. <laughs> anyway, we got a big ass thing of hairspray. Like, we're gonna be having hairspray for a long time. This was the golden hour when Caroline opened at the beauty convention because she won <laughs> so <laughs> bad dry, dry, dry all day. And I probably should use this more, but I like these mini ones. Got a little Dio. Yeah, I'm not, uh, is this deodorant or is it more like a body spray? 
I mean, it smells good. Um, this is something maybe I'd keep in the car. I wouldn't necessarily buy it for myself, but it's cool to test it out. Um, there was like a lot of stuff like this. I actually got something else, another body spray in here. They obviously think I'm stinky. So. We've got some, which is always a goodie. Yeah, I love these tiny and the mini mascaras. Ones for your bags. Check it out. <laughs> I think it's definitely. It's like a literal oh, okay. wet vibe for your sneaker, which is pretty. I don't know if this is any different really to a wet wipe, but it's cool and they make this class. That's from Sneaker Lab. Yeah, they had a little stand. Shame, they were the only like boys stand yeah. there. I got these things from Fashini. Yeah, Guys, sorry, we don't have um, stage lights, so the light's coming in and out. So if it's getting darker, that's why. But the one's a round makeup brush and this one's just a blending, like a beauty blender, essentially. I can't open it. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of neat. Like, it's like a big um, yeah, it's kabuki like, brush. Yeah, you but just feel how um, dense it is. Ooh. If you look at it close, I'm not trying to hate, but if you look at it close, it looks like it was cut funny. This would be amazing for like legs. If you're putting bronzer on your legs or shimmer yeah. oil or something, you, I, I feel like this would be like an overall the body kind of thing, not necessarily on your face though. Entitles you to 500 Rand on any full price electrical tool on GHD.com only. <laughs> I mean, 500 Rand off GHD tool, and I was just saying that, um, to be honest, I'm not really happy with my GHD, so maybe I get like a smaller one. Yeah, like a travel like, one. Yeah, a tighter one. I got a Revlon volumizing mascara, and then a Revlon, no, a Gosh, actually, in tropical pink lipstick. What is this? This is a lip plumper. Guys, I've seen this on YouTube. I have lip fake lips. Well, my lips are real. <laughs> I have lip filler. Yeah. So I really feel like somebody like me wouldn't use, use this, this because my lips are already so big they hardly fit in that. The ears fit. We got this too from MAC. I think this is probably like the biggest thing in Splurge there. Splurge in the PR kit. Um, and this is like... So cute. Just a cool toned little eyeshadow palette, yeah. which is cool. So I think that that was nice that they put one of these in every one. Yeah. So that's what we got in that like PR box. Um, we did a little bit of shopping too. We did. I wanted to get the the air mat. It launched at the Revolution. Um, I think Switch's packaging and stuff is really cool and... I like the, the hashtag on everything. Yeah, I, I, I like the look of this. So um, so I got a color in 420, which is amazing, the color. And I got the one that's called Double Tap. I think it's like an Instagram. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It definitely bleeds out a little bit. I think the darker colors of the Air Mac could use with the liner. But, I mean, it stays. I've had this on the whole day since I bought it. Mm. Also... I got the one of the lighter ones. I'm not wearing it anymore because we've had lunch since then and it's worn off to be honest because I had something on underneath. I didn't like give it like a full go yeah. on like a raw lip. But they say, oh, it's an air mat and it's super light and it's fluffy and it's non-drying and stuff. And I'm not really somebody for like a matte lip. So I'm not really used to that drying feeling, but immediately it felt really dry. It's very like, but they're cruelty free, which is cool. Um, so everything and there's like synthetic beeswax and all this kind of stuff. So I'm I'm sure that's maybe the better approach for things. We shopped at like a lot of the other shops as well. So there are a few other South African brands yeah. that do like parallel imports, like Me Beauty, and there was also um, Low Theory. So they're like a Korean based. We got some here. Um, they're over there, so we've got like little sheet masks and stuff that we're gonna test out and um, just see like if they work and if they're nice and if it's something that maybe you know Nordic we would can look, look into, into doing. doing. But overall, I thought it was it was cool. I was really um, unimpressed in the beginning with some of the masterclass. Um, segments, weren't you? It wasn't really... That one from Switch, that one girl from Switch, she was just like super unprepared. Yeah. And which I was disappointed about because we wanted to actually hear from Rabia like the whole process of how Switch came about because we've been following them since they had like minimal following. And not even them but just like other people too. Yeah. So like other influencers in South Africa, I think 
this was their chance to kind of like talk to their actual audience, audience and stuff and I think it was just kind of like a big flop. But uh, there was one girl who we didn't want to see and she actually ended up being one of our amazing. favorites. And um, her name's Roshana. She's amazing. She was really awesome and if you look at her on Instagram, um, follow her stories and stuff. She does like, I think she does two full phases of makeup a day. Yeah. And she's got like a little series going on. I think she does some YouTube here and there, dabbles in that. but. My favorite thing about Roshana was her little hacks, and it's not like hacks that it's like just real. You like know. the rest were kind of it's like actual scared. hacks. Yeah, it's like actual hacks that I haven't heard about. Like she she mentioned with contouring, lift it up, start higher. Stay yeah, so little she's got like lots that. of little um, good tips of information, and also she's so much softer and more real in person, yeah. and just like really sweet and welcoming. And yeah. I think that that so many people feel like they're unapproachable now on Instagram because they have so many followers and like for I'm not gonna name names but there was another girl who was doing a master class as well the same day that we went and she just kind of made herself seem like she was above everyone else. Shauna got out there and was just like really cool and chill so we really enjoyed that. That I mean just going to that for me made it yeah. feel yeah. like we got it. what we wanted from watching that. So that yeah, really and cool. like just seeing everyone's pop ups, like I think everyone really tried to pull out all the stops this year, and for its first year, I think they did really, really well. And thank you to the Nordic Beauty family that came and found us. Yeah, yeah. Was so cute. We were actually getting phone calls in the middle of master classes asking yeah. people where we're we were. So, so. Um, apologies if we didn't get to see you. Guys, also, um, thank you again so much for coming back to the channel and watching week after week. It means so much to me. This is Courtney. I'm going to leave all of her information down below. She does something really cool called Try This. Um, I'm also going to leave that down below. In a second, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that as well. But if you got to the end of the vlog, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And we will see you very soon. But Courtney, just tell us about Try This really quick. Try This is a little web series that we have on Little Brand Box, uh, which is the company I work for. We're going to see if a total amateur has what it takes to do something completely new and learn a new skill. So I've done one with Caroline before where she gave pretty handy tips on a flat lay. This is our first follow around vlog, so yeah, stay tuned for more Try This. Yeah, we're just having so much fun growing the channel and I know we're getting really chit chatty and stuff now. but. Again, like I said, we just really adore your support and everything. So give Little Brand Box a follow, Nordic Beauty a follow. If you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.